I just filled up the gas tank and we are ready for another adventure. So let's go. <laughs> What's up you guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Christian Hessen and today I am going to Vanten. Check this out guys. <laughs> That is the noodle truck. I think that's how the, the delivery guy looks like when I'm ordering from Happy Fresh. Jesus, can't even see the driver. <laughs> Today is a Tuesday and I left home around 9, 30, 10 o'clock. And right now it is almost 12 o'clock. And I've actually had so much traffic on the way. Um, and I'm not even outside of Jakarta yet. The total distance should be roughly 137 kilometers from my home. So I'm driving southwest now. And I can not drive on the big roads. So it's gonna be roads like this or even smaller roads all the way. So my estimation is that it's gonna take around five hours. So people often ask, why do you pack so much? So I have camera equipment in this, camera equipment in this, then I have tent, sleeping bag, all different kind of miscellaneous extra stuff here, extra boots. And then in this one, I have all my clothes and small belongings and stuff, water bottle. So uh, yeah. All right guys, so now we have roughly Two hours and 40 minutes until the camping spot where I'm gonna set up the tent for today. I'm really, really tired, so I want to actually stop before my final destination today and maybe stay overnight just to, you know, have some time in the tent and relax a bit. So it's never a good idea to drive when you're too tired. So, uh, yeah, probably two and a half, three hours, 71 kilometers to go. Let's go. No. taking a small stop here on the way I just got outside of Jakarta now and uh, it's starting to look uh Salam Ziyang strong yeah strong see here they're chopping rocks <laughs> so yeah I just needed a small break and uh, oh, this is what I really love getting out of the big city and coming to a place like this so I'm gonna ask him if I can take some pictures. Let's see what they say. Hey guys, YouTube, yeah? Okay, okay. Doodles. So this is one of the not so fun parts about being on these trips alone is that I've now been waiting for one and a half hour for the for the rain to stop and it's just not stopping and it's getting dark now and I'm really tired and I still have minimum one and a half hour to two hours uh, to the camping place that I found online. So I just I have to get on the bike and just drive for yeah one and a half to two hours in rain. That's how it is. So. Um, good things and bad things about this touring alone but uh, let's get to it and hopefully I will get there fast 
Let's go. Unfortunately, the rain got way too heavy, so I just had to park my bike, set up tent in the pouring rain, and just go to sleep. Good morning, guys. So it is 6, 6, 6 15 now. I have woken up a lot of times last night um, because of all these towns. And then I have slept really good from like 3 to 6. I had to pack up everything last night in pouring rain. So most of my stuff here are wet. So I need to pull them out, get it dry before we can move on. Fortunately, I've slept a lot better this time because I've gotten a new um, sleeping bag, which is square instead, which makes such a difference. I have much more space. It's a bit warmer. If you're considering which sleeping bag to get for a camping trip, I would highly suggest going with a squared one instead of a mummy. But uh, time to pack up. I got a feeling that the view outside is going to be really good. And then time to get back on the road. Let's go. All right, guys, check this view. So everything is wet. So basically just tried to park the bike in here in the middle of the nowhere so no one could see me. I'm either going to be in a place where there's a lot of people or no people at all. So I will say the backpack here takes a little bit more space than the one I had before. The one I had before was like this. For me, now I have the boxes on the motorcycle. I would actually rather have one that takes up a little bit more space, but at least I can get a decent night's sleep. So thank you so much to Consina for sending me this. Sweet dreams for your pleasure. I did have sweet dreams. And we are packed again. Sorry, mosquito. Now, next step my pants to dry this is the situation right now stuff waiting to dry the tent is gone the sheet is drying over there shoes over there socks there and uh, need to pick up the garbage and then i'm ready for my morning coffee and my breakfast <laughs> yep All right, guys, we made it out of the little jungle here. And now we're back on the road. Today I'm driving to a place called Wisata Negeri in a city called Chitorek. It's supposed to be a beautiful view up on the, the mountain. So uh, it's almost 9.30 now. I drove from Jakarta yesterday this way, stopped and slept here. I was gonna camp here, but I couldn't make it. It was too far and raining too much. So now I'm going here to see the outpost. And after that, I'm gonna drive down here to Ra Karang Hau. Uh, there's a beautiful beach club there called Chi something. I'll put it on the screen. Uh, it's supposed to be really beautiful. So it's super hot today. I'm just ready to get going. Um, it's gonna be a beautiful day and Let's go. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can't miss out. I'm done living life with the lights out. Die with my own doubts. Be free with me. Let's go. Let's be free with me. for a little pit stop. I need something to eat, something to drink. I'm out of water and it is really hot today so I want to make sure that I get plenty of water. We are back on the small roads. Time to drive carefully. Wow, but check this view. Oh my god. Oh, don't want to fall here. Ah. And the bike is heavy. I packed way too many things this time. Oh shit, yeah, we got it. Wow, the view is amazing. Wow, check this out, guys. One hour left to Tichorek. 
Sorry if I'm not saying it correctly. Chitorek. Let's go. Yeah. So guys, this is actually not the way the GPS is telling me to go, but I just saw this bridge and I thought it would be super cool to drive over it. Let's see how it looks. Wow, check this out guys. Oh my god. This is so cool. Here we go again, guys. Yo. The road is getting worse and worse. Mechanical fix there. Whoa. So the GPS says I have an hour left. I hope it's not going to be an hour left like this because then it's going to be a really long day. Wow, check this out, guys. Jesus Christ. Time to test my skills again. So I just saw a road sign that said Chitorek 14 kilometers. So apparently I'm not that far after all. Wow, check this out guys. Check this view. It's a long way down. Hello, Salamat Siang. You So there's these stops on the road where they're collecting money for the road work. The problem is I've been driving through probably 10 of them in the last 30 minutes. So I'm hoping they are going to some kind of collective fund because I can't pay at every single stop. Selamat siang. But wow guys, check out this view, it's breathtaking. If I was the richest man alive, I would fix all roads in entire Indonesia. So it would be a breeze just to drive through all these fantastic mountain roads. But in a decent time frame. It's not that I don't enjoy the off-roading, but I don't enjoy it taking such a long time to cover such a small distance. Oh, this is good. This is, without a doubt, the single most beautiful country in the entire world. In 45 minutes. But this... Check this out, guys. Wow. This is amazing. Trying to make sure the camera is on, and it is, and you are too. Wow! All right, doom, 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 and we made it! Yeehaw! Yeehaw! Get it, boy! Oi! Don't celebrate too soon. Break here, guys. We sat the negeri, negeri, atas, di atas. We sat the negeri di atas awan. Yeah, 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 yeah. Berapa lama? Satu jam. Satu jam. Okay, okay, okay. Mantap. Terima kasih ya.
selama puasa ya dua lagi ya jangan lupa like comment dan subscribe whenever I'm out driving guys I, I always look at the distance thinking oh yeah okay 130 kilometers that's not a lot that should be fairly easy oh, check the view but uh, then I forget that I stop so many times during that distance so a distance that would maybe take an hour may end up taking two and a half hours We are officially in Chitorek and I've been pretty much just climbing going up 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 for the last 15 minutes um, the GPS estimate of how long it was this was gonna take is not correct whatsoever um, but it doesn't matter I wouldn't mind owning a house up here just a small one like that one So beautiful here guys, can't even believe my own eyes. That's why you gotta keep your eyes on the road. Moo! Good day mate, this is the place. Is this the place? What? So guys, it's only 1.30 but it's starting to pull up and it looks like it could rain in like an hour or two and I'm so tired from yesterday um, the map today said that it would take roughly one and a half hour to get here and it took three and a half hours that's of course with stops so now I'm here at Negeri Diatasa 1 um, on top of a mountain it's beautiful here and there's no people so the owner of the shop over here he uh, invited me to stay in one of the, the cabins here. So it's 200,000 for a night. It's probably a bit overpriced, but it doesn't matter. There's no people here. I got Indomie, some egg for lunch. And um, now I've set up in my room. I just had a shower. So uh, let me show you how it looks. So I've parked the motorcycle here and it's covered in the, the tent net because it was wet from this morning, so I'm trying to get it to dry. It's probably gonna rain a bit, so I'll have to pull it back in. And here we have a little shop where I can get something to drink. Baba, to YouTube, yeah? Yeah. So I just had some Indomie noodles for lunch, and then let's go and check out the bathroom. So it's down here in the basement, and this is the bathroom. And, yeah, this is not something I'm used to. Since I'm gonna be living here for a while, I have to get used to showering in a place like this and going to the bathroom. So, let's check out my room. So, in here I have light. I have my sleeping bag, which I folded out. I have a mattress and I have, it's a bit messy right now, I'm still sorting my stuff, but here I put up my camping chair so I can sit here, relax. The rest of the day will simply go with relaxing, maybe get a nap, see if I can get a bit of drone footage, recharge the batteries and just yeah, relax because tomorrow morning early I'm going out here to the top of the mountain to get some really really cool shots with the drone and I'm also driving all the way to the beach so it's gonna be a long day tomorrow because the GPS is saying roughly three three and a half hours and I know what that means that means probably five hours with less stops but I'm going to an amazing beach resort tomorrow so super excited about that but now guys I want to relax sort my stuff and see you later <music> 